Shabbat Shalom. On this Shabbat, we're mindful of the events taking place in Israel. With almost 2,000 missiles launched by Hamas into Israel, we're grateful for the Iron Dome system that has stopped 90% of those missiles. We're also saddened by the loss of life that occurred by those that were not intercepted. As I speak with friends and colleagues who live in Israel, my heart goes out to them for the reign of terror and fear that occurs as the sirens go off, signaling that it's time for them to find shelter. There's been concern for a long time about the building up of arms by Hamas, and events of the last couple of days have borne out those fears. As Israel attempts to eliminate these threats, we're also saddened by the innocent loss of civilian life suffered by those who live in Gaza. In truth, there are many different battles taking place in Israel all at the same time. If you want to know how complicated the situation is in Israel, you need to know these flashpoints. It begins with the ongoing contested status of Sheikh Jarrah in East Jerusalem and the delayed decision by the Israeli Supreme Court about the status of some of those homes. Add in the month of Ramadan and its connection to Muslim worship experiences at the Al-Aqsa Mosque on the Temple Mount, a postponed election by Palestinian leadership, a lame duck Israeli government that after four elections in the last couple of years, with the current prime minister facing a potential trial, the failure to establish a coalition to leave the country. Just as we experience in our recent elections, issues in Israel have become weaponized for political reasons. With events of this week, it now looks like Israelis will face a fifth national election. So many unsettled issues have come together to create a situation that seems to be increasingly getting out of control. If you're not aware of these issues, you should learn more about them and how they contribute to the challenge of the region. Of greatest concern, according to Prime Minister Netanyahu and many Israelis, is a civil war taking place between radical groups of Arabs and Jews in the very streets of towns in Israel that they once lived peacefully in. It is this violence that Israeli politicians and celebrities are trying to address publicly because it's tearing apart the very fabric of Israel society. You know, many of our prayers mention Israel. One of my favorites is recited on Friday nights at our Shabbat services. In the paragraph of Hashki Venu, we ask God to spread a sukkat shlomecha, a canopy of peace over us. We finish the prayer with the following blessing. Blessed are you, O God, who spreads the canopy of peace over us, over the Jewish people and over Jerusalem. On this Shabbat, we pray for Sukkot peace that will protect our Israeli soldiers and all innocent people. And let us say, Amen. Shabbat Shalom.